Okay guys, uh, welcome to this uh, hosting with Firebase session. In this we will see how to host an application using Firebase Maybe with the application that is built using AngularJS or NoCodeJS or RequireJS. So there are some JS frameworks which are supported by Firebase. So we are just going to see how to host your AngularJS application to the web, okay, using Firebase. So just first, if you don't have an account, just, just create an account. Maybe you can log in with GitHub if you have one. Otherwise, you can just log in automatically. And sign in, it will direct to your dashboard page where you will see an kind of hidden app like this. Okay, just just go and enter the name that you are going to give to your app. For example, I'm just going to you. Series uh, series runners is the prefix for this app. So just I'm creating an app. So it's just giving one, okay. So, so it's created. So now I already built an application and it's available. And the index dot page is this, and the require files are over here. Okay. So just open the command prompt window, and you can you can just skip through the steps of hosting using this documentation. Of uh, Fireface, so this is the guide. First, what you need to do is first you need to have the Fireface tools. You can, if you have Node.js, then it automatically comes comes with Node Package Manager, and you can download the Fireface tools using npm, something like this. Uh, I already have Fireface tools, so I'm just going to run through this update command. Okay, so. So, once done the installation, then you have to give a Firebase in it, something like git in it. So, once you run it, then this will generate a JSON file called Firebase.json. That's contain the information about what what is the app name, what is the properties and redirect stuff. Once you initiate it, then this will ask for the app name which you need to choose once you choose it you can go ahead and we can deploy and for the relief you can go ahead and you can open it okay so now we are going to run see this folder now we don't have anything other than the required files now give my page edit okay wait for a moment then this will ask for the app. So we already created an app as soon as it runs over here, right? So just choose it. So enter the name of your app. So this is our current app, right? Where the index of the lies. So yes, I'm choosing this as a current directory, and this is now. Initiated. If you see the directory, then you will see the firebase.json file. You can just open it and you can see what does it. Also, firebase app name, which we choose in, and what does the public directory? This is the current directory, is only directory, and some stuff. Okay, so now you can go ahead and you can run the deploy command as shown here. Okay, so firebase deploy. So it's uploading the current directory to the server. So let me take a moment. That's it. So now your app is installed in this particular 
URL, you can access it and you can manage it using the dashboard. So now I want to open the app in the browser. So just just give me open my face open. So this is what app is. So it's available over here. The web, the Angular JS app which I don't like. So you can just throw it. So, so that's it guys, so, that, that, that's easy now, you can host it, your application using Firebase easily from wherever you are, okay? Thanks for watching, join in the next session.